Hello, this is Mark from tradingform.com and welcome to this video on a super trend forex trading strategy. Now in this video I'm going to have a look at how we can use the super trend indicator to trade the euro US dollar and I'm going to also look at how we can take a basic strategy and refine it and tweak it so that it fits in with our own trading beliefs and techniques. So firstly, the basic strategy. I've got a chart of the euro US dollar in front of me and the first thing I am using is a filter and that is this blue line here which is one of my favourite trading indicators. It's a linear regression line and it's set to 50 periods. Now if this line, this linear regression line is pointing upwards then I only want to enter long trades if it is pointing downwards, I only want to enter short trades. So we can see we have also got the super trend. Now the super trend I'm actually going to use in reverse so that if our linear regression line is pointing upwards, I want the super trend to have reversed, to have gone negative, at which point I'm going to enter a long trade. And we can see we've got an example here on this day here which is the 22nd of September. Linear regression pointing upwards, super trends reversed, so we would enter long at the close of this bar. Now we've got a entry system, we also need a way to get out of the trades. And I'm going to use another indicator that I'm, I like to use quite a lot and that is Bollinger Bands. And so I'm going to use a, for long trades, a close above the Bollinger Bands to signal our exit. So we entered at this point here and we can see that the trade moved in our favour and we were able to exit at this point here, which is the 11th of October. So there is the basic trading strategy, but I said I'm going to look at a way that we can really refine it, make it our own. So the way I'm going to do that is to have a look at how the strategy has performed in the past. Now I think you have to know for any trading strategy how it's done in the past. If it has been a, a losing strategy in the past, there really isn't much chance that it's going to become a winning strategy in the future. It doesn't, of course, follow that a winning strategy in the past will be winning but it's got a better chance than one that has been a losing strategy. So here we go. This is a trade-informed backtest model. The backtest model is built entirely in Excel, which has the advantage that anybody can go in there, they can alter it, and they can refine it and optimize it to meet their own standards. So the first thing I want to look at personally is do we have a nice capital graph? And in this case, we do. We're pointing upwards, the general trend, and I'm looking at a decent amount of data. We're starting in 2002. So we've got 13, 14 years worth of data here. And over most of the time periods shown here, the strategy has tended to be profitable. Pick out a couple of quick things from the results. We've got 68 percent winning trades. Reasonably average, although our average losing trade is slightly higher. This is offset by our significantly higher than 50% of winning trades. So what can we do with this trading strategy? Well, I've already said I like to use the linear regression line. Another very commonly used way of filtering trades is a exponential moving average. So I'm going to demonstrate that here. Now this is the actual backtest model. Very simple to use. We've got the data on the left and we have here the technical indicators. If you are interested in technical indicators, I do have two ebooks available in the Amazon Kindle bookstore and they show you how to calculate technical indicators in Excel. There is a link on the screen, so click on that link if you would like more information about that. So, to alter a trading form backtest model, all I'm going to do is 
click in this top cell and you can see here we're looking at the linear regression slope. Now I don't want to do that anymore, I want to change that and I'm going to say if we have a close greater than the exponential moving average then we can enter long. I'll just double click to copy that down to all the cells below and it really is as easy as this. I'm going to do the same for the short trade. I'm going to say I want to close below the 200 period exponential moving average. I'll just double click on here and it's going to copy it down to all the cells below. Now if I go back to the results tab we're going to see different results. So we can see in fact a slightly steeper capital graph which is always good to see. Uh, we've got a slightly higher net profit. In fact we've got a slightly higher number of winning trades. So for the very quick test that I've just demonstrated we look to have potentially a better trading strategy. It seems to work better with a 200 EMA as a filter. Now this is just one way that you as trader can look at a trading strategy and refine it so that it suits what you're looking to get out of it. Maybe you want a higher percentage of winning trades and you're willing to sacrifice some of the, the size of your trades, well then you can change it to suit this. Well, I hope you found this useful. If you're interested in training form backtest models, again, there is a link on the screen. Click on this and have a look and see what is available. If you'd like more information about trading the financial markets, backtesting trading strategies, calculating technical indicators, please go to www.tradingform.com and of course please subscribe to this channel for more videos about backtesting and technical indicators.